What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the brand new ice type released in this game, Sea Titan. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It takes about two seconds of your guys' time and we upload every single day over here on this channel. But yeah, like I said, we are rocking out with Sea Titan, and Sea Titan is such a cool Pokemon. I feel like ever since it's been released, that's been one of my favorite Pokemons for Gen 9. And since they buffed Hail into Snow, making Ice types better or having Ice types have a better weather, Sea Titan's going to be able to rock out in the ranked double ladder or even ranked singles ladder if you guys want to use them over there. But we get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Sea Titan. It's got Slush Rush as its ability, so it can double its speed in the snow. Assault Vest as its item, so it could be a lot more bulkier than normal. Then it's got Ice Spinner, Ice Shard, Terror Blast, and Super Power. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon and see its power on the ranked ladder. Second Pokemon is going to be Obama Snow. We need a Snow Setter, and this Pokemon works perfectly with that. It's got Snow Warning as its ability. Focus Ash as item, Blizzard, Aurora Veil, Energy Ball, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Rotom Wash, and I absolutely love Rotom Wash because its typing is incredibly strong, especially with its uh, Levitate ability. So it really only has one weakness, which is going to be Grass. And you don't get to see a lot of Grass type Pokemon in this game, or especially on the rank ladder, I should say. It's got Levitate as ability, Rock and the Citrus Berry as item, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Helping Hand, and will o -Wiz for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our support Grimstar with Prankster and the Covert Cloak. So this Pokemon can't be faked out or it cannot get additional effects from opposing Pokemon's moves. It's got Fake Out, it's got Parting Shot, it's got Spirit Break, and then it has Taunt for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be another support Pokemon. It's going to be Amoongus over here. Amoongus got Regenerator, rocks alongside with that Rocky Helmet and its Rock and Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Giga Drain, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Amoongus. Final Pokemon is going to be Dragapult over here, and Dragapult is super strong. I absolutely love Dragapult. Really quick, has a high attack stat, and it's just great all around. It's got Protect, Will-O-Wisp, Terra Blast, and Dragon Darts for its four moves. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with the Sea Titan team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Torkoal team with Armor Rouge, T-Tar, Indeedee, Volcarona, and Rotom Wash. Gotta watch out for that Torkoal. And I feel like I can set up weather pretty easily here with the Grimmsnarl as our lead and Sea Titan as our lead. And the reason I say we should go in the Grimmsnarl and Sea Titan is because I have Prankster. I can party shot, swap into my Abomin Snow, get the uh, weather that way. So if he wants to lead the Torkoal like that to get the weather, I can always swap in and change it up for him. So I really do like that. I really do like that. Plus we have Terra Blast. I could, that will be super effective up against a few of these Pokemon and super power for that, uh, for that T-Tar. So I'm really liking the Rock. I'm really liking the Rock considering he has so many fire Pokemon. Final Pokemon, I'm thinking just going into Rotom. I really like Rotom. I really do like Rotom. I like Dragapult as well, but Rotom in this situation is working really well. Considering how many Fire and Rock type Pokemon he has, it's just going to work beautifully. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we can lock it in. We can lock it down. We can look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I've been having a blast playing Rank Battles for Scarlet and Violet. It's just been so much fun. It feels so refreshing without Dynamax. Having Terrestrialization just makes so many or so much variety for any team. Because legit, any Pokemon can change into any type at any time. I just think it's super cool. He's going to end up going into these two. Um, I think like I have to Terrestrialize here, right? I could fake out. No, I cannot fake out. I could take out the terrain, though. I can take out the terrain if I want to. Hmm. What do I want to do here, actually? I can't even parting shot, can I? I can't parting shot. I would have to ice spinner and break this first. I would have to ice spinner and break this first. Because we know the follow me's coming out here. I'm going to see I'm going to change the Titan's typing. And I'm gonna go into an ice spinner and then I can taunt the Indeedee maybe next turn. Will follow me come out before taunt? I'm not too sure. I think it would actually. Which is kinda tough. I mean, he could swap into Torkoal, but I don't really see it happen. I really don't see him swapping into Torkoal. Not yet. I just think he follows me and he goes for the, the heat waves, all that good stuff. So I'm going to Terrasize into this rock typing. I feel like this could be really good for us. And we kind of just go from there. But I should wait. I know he has Torkoal in the back. And I know 100% he has Torkoal somewhere. We go for the Ice Spinner. We are going to break the terrain. And I'm surprised I outspeed all you guys. You're not going for follow me? What are you going for? You're going for Trick him? No, he's going to Gleam. He's going to Gleam, which I'm 
totally fine with. Wow, we could have went after Armor Rouge. I just could have sworn the follow me as we're flying out here. So we got the special attack drop on that. That's pretty good. And Armor Rouge can pop. I did not know that. I did not know Armor Rouge could pop trick. I did not know that Pokemon could pop a trick room. Um, now from here, I could just parting shot if I want to. Wait to you. Which I'm thinking of doing just straight up parting shotting. And I could Terror Blast as well. But I got to get rid of this. Uh, I got to get rid of this. Uh, Indeedy, don't I? Actually, let's do this. Let's hope that this thing doesn't party. Let's hope that this thing doesn't, uh, what's it called? Doesn't follow me, and we can go for a Terror Blast into Armor Rouge. I'm really hoping. We'll see, because I I feel like if I'm, like, th thinking about it again, if I parting shot here, what am I going to swap into? My Bomb Snow, and then he just brings out Torkoal? No, we should wait. We should wait and play it slow. Because now he has Trick on us, and Torkoal is definitely very scary. So it goes for the Helping Hand. I mean, that's fine. I feel like we should be able to soak pretty well here. What are you going for? Heat Wave? What are you doing, kind sir? Spirit Break KOs, which is big. And Sea Titan might even be slower than Armor Rouge at this point. Without Slush Rush? We are not. And this thing is Energy Ball? Hold up. Wait a minute. Chill on me. I think I'm rocking that as Soul Fest. Soul Fest definitely doing me good. I'm going to be able to drop a nice little Terror Blast. And hopefully this KOs. I'm going to hope. It's not Stab, but we do have the Terror type there. That picks up some mean damage. So, really solid damage. We know that the Grimstarl is slower than Armor Rouge. This could be good for us. Hmm. He's gonna bring out Torkoal. We saw that from 96,000 miles away. And I could party shot into it, or I can just straight up Ice Shard. It's tough because it's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. A little bit too much. I think we're gonna need Fake Out on it, so I am just gonna party shot. Who would I swap into? Probably Rotom? I mean, I do have Focus Ash on my other thing, but maybe ice shard will be our play just to chip up some damage onto somebody before my sea titan goes out because we know sea titan dies this turn we know a thousand percent sea titan's gone so we're gonna let him probably terrasize oh he doesn't even terrasize so we get off a straight party shot do i change the weather right here right now that's a real question or do i go into rotom hmm rotom could be good but weather if i change the weather we're gonna go down to focus ash all day and he's probably going to double down kill me. But we'll have weather for later. Do I want to do? What do I want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking going into Rotom. But changing up the weather. Could be good. You know what? No. We're going to change up the weather now. Because I feel like we have a better chance of winning with a full health Rotom. Rather than if our Obama snow goes down here. So I'm going to change up the weather right now. That's fine. It's going to start to snow. Ice Shard's going to fly here. Can this KO? It does not. Armor is able to eat. And Eruption's going to fly. So Eruption, they probably picking up double KO. Oh, see, Titan eats. Please don't be going for a Heat Wave. I could definitely see be going for a Heat Wave. We got the Sash. If he doesn't go for a Heat Wave, this could be big. Because then I can Ice Shard the Armor's KO in next turn. And he goes for an Energy Ball. Into who? Into that slot. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So solid turn from us. Really good turn from us. We're starting to waste out Trick Room. I can bring back out my... uh. I can bring back out my uh, Grimstarl. Armor is gonna faint, and I can party shot, or I can fake out any Pokemon I want. I'm all, I'm all with it. I'm all with it, and we'll save the Rotom. This Rotom speed's pretty, pretty solid, right? Let me see your speed. 138. That's not bad. It's not too shabby. But yeah, Grimstarl's gotta come out here. I'm gonna bring back out Grimstarl. I can fake out. He's gonna bring in Titar. So you have double weather. Boy, it's crazy. This dude's crazy. He's gonna take away my snow. Um, I have to fake out the. I have to fake out the Torkoal, correct? I have to fake out the Torkoal. Faking out the Torkoal. And if I get off this superpower, oh baby. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Let me take a quick gander. Let me take a quick peek. Two. I think I protect on my Rotom, which is good. But yeah, I'm going to go for the superpower. Definitely going for the superpower. Fake out coming out here. Mwah. Doing a little bit of damage, but more importantly, getting the flinch. And show my Sea Titan going first. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. If Sea Titan would have went first, that superpower could have did some crazy big damage. Sea Titan falls. Um. Hmm. I could parting shot. Just onto the T-Tar. If I wanted to. Or I could just straight up stay in. What do I want to do here? Hmm. Again, Trick Room's... Oh, we don't even have Protect. We don't even have Protect. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. I mean, Hydro Pump's going to be our best friend. And I feel like without the weather, Torkoal's not doing that much damage. I might just, I might just double down on T-Tar at this point. Could be really good for us. 
hoping that the, the uh, Hydro Pumps are just going to pick up some KOs. It could be good for us. Let's see what he does. He could Terras here, but I don't know. He hasn't Terrasized yet, so I don't think he's going to Terrasize. He might now that Rotom's on the field. You never know. No, he doesn't. So we're just going to fly through here. Grimstone all eats, which is gorgeous. Rotom soaks up really well. I still have Citrus Berry. Spirit Break goes before t which is big. Picking up a decent amount of damage. And now I just need this Hydro Pump to land. This Hydro Pump can land. We have a decent shot at winning this battle. Is that policy? Oh, no. Yo, dodge this Rock Slide. Someone dodge the Rock Slide. We know the Rock Slide's coming. We need to dodge it. Rock Slide comes in hot. Rotom can eat. 3 HP. We have Berry. We still have Citrus Berry. We just need to land some big time Hydro Pumps. We need to land some big time Hydro Pumps. So let's see. We're at 34 HP. Hydro Pump connecting. We take it out the T Tar. Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Let's see what he goes into. The Shrick Room's gone. I could Hydro Pump the Torkoal and take it out. Who are you rocking into? Armor Rouge? Or did we take out the Armor Rouge? Is it a 1v1? Oh, it's a 1v1. We took out the Armor Rouge and Ndidi. Yo, we might win this one. Hydro Pump. We need it landed. We need it landed. Rotom. Do what's good. That's got to be Fire Terror type. That's got... There's no shot it's not Fire Terror type. There's no shot it's not Fire, fire Terror type. Okay, it is Fire Terror type. We need to land this Hydro Pump. This Hydro Pump should be able to pick up the KO. Come on, Rotom. I just need you landing it. I need you landing it. It comes out. We connect. KO for the win. Let's go. Hot start for us in battle number one. And what a battle all around. Coming down to the wire. And luckily, I brought in Rotom Wash over that Dragapult for that exact reason right there. What a first battle to get this video started. Came down to the wire and our boy Rotom came in clutch. But we're hopping into our second battle going up against a, another Trick Room team. This is going to be another Trick Room team. And we just showcased the pretty much exact same team, but take out the Mudsdale and put in Lucario. We just showcased that in the last video. So hopefully we kind of know what's going on here and hopefully we counter, but it's kind of looking tough. But we're definitely going to need a Bomb Snow somewhere along the lines because a Bomb Snow is going to be really good for us. Um, Trick Room Setters is going to be Mimikyu, but he has a Mental Herb, so that we might not even want to go and waste a turn with Taunt. It just might not even want to be our player, right? He could go with a Rangaroo. Do we even lead Grimmsnarl? I feel like we could just set Weather, maybe set up an Auroravel turn one. It's definitely an option. Ah, oh, this is tough. But our Ice Pokemon do work besides that... Besides that, what's it called? That Torkoal. Besides that Torkoal. But I really want to get off in a war bell. So I think I'm just going to lead the, the Hail guys. Because I don't see him leading anything but Trick Room setters. But I think he's going to set up Trick Room and kind of roll from there. We'll bring Rotom in the back end. And then final Pokemon. I think we need a Pokemon like Dragapult in here. Even if speed's going to be a pain. I just think he, he easily gets off Trick Room. And I can kind of do a sturdy. I just think he easily gets off Trick Room, so we have to set up an War Belt, and we have to do something to kind of counteract and start to waste out turns, so we can actually win this battle. But Trick Room's so tough to play up against. I feel like a lot of teams don't really have counters to Trick Room, especially when your Trick Room setter is usually Rock and Mental Herb, like that Mimikyu. So taunting it really doesn't do anything. It just uses item, and kind of goes from there. So let's see. He does lead the Torkoal. Are you kidding me? He leads the Torkoal? You don't lead a Trick Room setter? This is un unreal. 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 I'm using my Focus Ash, though. This is unreal. Unreal. <laughs> I'm going to use my Focus Ash, I guess. I mean, I could swap. We know the Fire Moves coming in here, so Rotom can kind of soak it up. And I could Terrasalize it a rock. Unreal. He leads the Torkoal. I was sitting there. I don't think he's going to lead Torkoal. He's got to lead somebody that uh, goes into... Uh... I was like, he's got to go into somebody who goes into Trick Room. He leads the Torkoal. What is going on here? Absolute mess. Absolute mess. We're able to bring out Rotom here. Pretty good. And then I can bring back out of Bomb Snow if I want to. He's going to Terrasize into Fire Torkoal. I haven't seen uh, Torkoal a lot. Oh, no. That's my Terrasalization. But he still might Terrasize into Fire. I can definitely see it happening. We already know, we already know the Rage Powder is coming out and about, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. Yeah, he's going to Terrasize regardless. Oh my god, yo, I was sitting there, I was like, no way he brings in Torkoal. He's gonna set up Trick Room, he's gonna go from there. He goes straight into Torkoal. He says, hey yo, I'm here, I'm predicting you going in the weather. So if he was predicting me going in the weather, that was a great call by him. Torkoal gets that. We knew the Rage Powder was coming out here, that is exactly why I Terrasalize and swapped into my Rotom. That just sucks, man, that's a... 
That's just a rough lead for us. Ice Spinner doing some big time damage. Eruption's gonna fly here. Both my Pokemon should be able to soak, but it's still gonna be scary damage. That's some scary damage. That is some scary damage. We pop a Citrus Berry here. Um, and I could swap back into Bomb, so I use my Focus Ash. Save my Rotom for later. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. I would love to go into a Terra Blast here. Just in case he doesn't, maybe he'll protect this turn. I, my problem is I don't think Terra Blast, well actually Terra Blast should be able to pick up the KO onto Amoogus. Just in case he doesn't Rage Powder. We can throw the Terra Blast into that slot. Cause I can see him potentially protecting. Thinking I'm going for another Ice Spinner. I'm bringing back out of Bomb Snow. I have Focus Ash on him, but more importantly, I want to change up the weather here. And he's going to withdraw the movie, so that's exactly why I didn't really go into an Ice Spinner. And he's going to go into Liligant. Oh, Ice Spinner could have been good. Oh, he swaps into Liligant, which is huge, because he needs, like, this... He needs the, uh... He needs the, uh, heat for that. So now I can straight up just Blizzard and double down into, uh... Torkoal here. Which I'm all about. Which he's probably going to swap back into Rotom. I can definitely see that. Or well, not Rotom. You could definitely swap back into uh, Amoongus with that Regenerator, but I still feel like popping this uh, Terra Blast is our best play. Yeah, okay, cool. He doesn't swap. Terra Blast flying through here. We have Slush Rush now. We have a Defense Boost. We're going to be able to get off some nice damage onto you, and then Blizzard's going to also fly on top of this. He goes for a Leaf Storm. That might KO me. Does not, yo. See tight. See tight with that Salt Vest. Bulking up huge. Huge bulk up for us. Blizzard's going to fly here. We bring Logan down to one, and... Torkoal's probably going to KO my Sea Titan, right? I hope not. This thing's Sash, too. So it's Sash's up. He's going to erupt. Can you eat this up? Any any chance you eat this up, Sea Titan? Any shot? You do not. Four times super effective on Obama Snow. He soaks pretty well. And from here, I could go into my Pult. I think Dragon Pult's going to be the play. With all that speed on it. I'm liking that. But yo, the snow helping us out, out tremendously. I'm loving the snow. Yeah, Pult's going to be my play. Let's pull out speeds to Logan. I can drop a Dragon Darts. I could set up an Aurora Veil here, too. Because I'm thinking Dragon Darts picks up the KO on both. So Aurora Veil alongside with Dragon Darts? I think Dragon Darts should be able to pick up the KO on both. I'm really liking that. It's going to Witch all Torkoal for later usage, but we're going to get off Aurora Veil. And Aurora Veil is insanely big. And he might protect a little bit. I think he's going to try to pop a Trick Room. I think Trick Room's his play all day. I think Trick Room is his play all day. He's going to Trick Room with the Mimikyu. I'm still going to Dragon Darts. Because I kind of have to. Or I can burn the Mimikyu. I could definitely burn the Mimikyu and just drop a Blizzard. That might even be better. This Blizzard's going to land. Logan is going to go first, but with a War Bell and that thing minus on attack. I don't really see him taking out my Pokemon. And then throwing a burn onto Mimikyu could be really big for us. So we have a real War Bell set up. We're going to burn a physical attacker with Mimikyu. And we're playing this one nice and slow. This is solid for us. We're playing really good up against this Trick Room at the moment. Or Trick Room team. Because he didn't set the Trick Room in the beginning. Just for Sleep Powder. Does not affect my Bomb Snow because of Grass. What are you doing? And Playoff's going to fly here, which we soak up. Oh, don't even go for Trick Room. It's very odd. Trick Room does not come out here. Now I just pop a Dragon Hearts. We get rid of the Lilligan. We get rid of the Disguise. And it's pretty much GG's. I'm super surprised he didn't pop the Trick Room there. Super, super surprised. But it's fine. We have a Roar Bell. This thing's burned. Pretty much wrapping up this battle. And we have Rotom still in the back end. The so solid swaps from us. We had a rough lead. We were in we were we were in a tough spot in the beginning, but we were able to swap in, swap out, and uh terrestrialize our C Titan to kind of put us or give us a, a chance at winning this battle. And then we took that chance, ended up winning it. And I totally forgot he has a Moongus still too. <clears throat> I totally forgot he does have a Moongus. I'm gonna pop that. Um And I guess I'll just Dragon Darts. I guess we'll just get right after some Lingus. One Dragon Arts. Oh, two Dragon Arts gonna KO it. A boy hits way too hard with the Life Orb. He hits way too hard. So we do that. Life Orb's gonna chip up some damage from us. And then Mimikyu's probably gonna pop another play rock. And we should be able to survive. Yeah, yo. Aurora Bell and having that thing burned is ridiculously strong. Blizzard flies. Picking up some more damage. He's forced to bring out Torkoal. He's gonna protect the Torkoal. We already know it's coming. But I'm gonna have the Dragon Arts into it anyway. It's game over. It's game over. Your boy going 2 0 right now. We're going 2 0 and we're guaranteeing you guys a winning record, which is huge. Which is huge. 
So he brings back out the drought. It's already too late. It's too late. Actually, I can't drop blazers anymore, which kind of hurts, but I can do energy balls and dragon darts, which works just fine. Works just fine. Are you protecting? Yeah, I said I said that from the beginning. And playoff, we're going to be able to eat up again. It's, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. And we take out Mimikyu. It's, it's over. This guy doesn't stand a chance. We died to the playoff. I said we were going to eat it up. Was that crit? No, I think it just got a high roll, but still. Still, this is light work. It's light work, GG's. Energy ball flies through here. It picks up the KO on the Mimikyu. We're going to be, be able to bring out the Rotom. We're going to be able to Thunderbolt. It's over. You stand no chance, poor little turtle. Poor little turtle. I mean, he honestly, could have won the battle if he popped the Trick Room. I'm really surprised he didn't pop a Trick Room, especially when he was burned. Really surprised at that. But I guess we'll Energy Ball. And we'll just Thunderbolt. GG's. GG's. Thunderbolt comes out here. Built. See you later. 2 0 for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a really cool team. We're going up against a Mousehold team. And Mousehold is ridiculously strong with uh, Population Bomb. It hits 10 times. And it can pretty much KO any single Pokemon. So I might have to bring in Amoongus for lead. To try to counter that if he wants to lead it. But he also has a Miyas Gravata. The Kilowattro for uh, Tailwind Control. Cerule Edge, which is such a cool Pokemon. For Rigoraph, which I don't think he's going to be bringing in for Rigoraph. I feel like that Pokemon's just there for... Uh, Countering Trick Room, and then last but not least, he has the Tinkaton, which can fake out and do some big damage all around. But I'm really scared about the Mouse Hold, so I'm going to leave the Amoongus just in case. And then I am going to go into... Could go into Rotom maybe as lead. Mm. Or I could just go into Sea Titan. I don't know. It really depends. I do see Mouse Hold coming in for a lead. I really do. I'm going to go Dragapult and force the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Dragapult. Because if he does lead Mousehold, I can force it into Amoongus. And not even have to Rage Powder. Could be your play all day. So I'm liking this. I'm liking these two right here. So I'm going to lead both of them. And I think we just bring in the Hail Squad in the back end. Makes the most sense. The Hail Squad's looking like they can do good. Tinkaton might actually become a lead. But if Tinkaton does become a lead, I have the Dragapult. And he's just going to fake out the Amoongus. That's fine. That's fine. Because Tinkaton's going to be a problem. And Cerule Edge. I feel like he has to bring in both of those, right? I feel like both those Pokemon are an absolute must bring up against my team with my uh with my snow. We shall see. Miascarada is definitely a scary Pokemon as well. Definitely a scary Pokemon. Kilowattro could also lead. He's just, they just have so many different leads. So many different options. We'll see how this one plays out here. We shall see. Alright, who are you leading? Let me see. Mouse Hold and Cerule Edge. So, uh, yeah, I can Rage Power this shot. Uh, also going to a Dragon Darts. Uh, Cerule Edge is kind of scaring me. Definitely is. Uh, I'm going to Rage Powder all, all day. He might Rage Powder as well. Are you going to Rage Powder? He might. I'm going to drop a Dragon Darts. A D Darts, baby. I'm hoping Population Bomb comes out here. I really do. Because if he Population Bombs me, I have Rocky Helmet, and I would just KO the Mouse Hold as it's hitting me. So we're really hoping that's going to be the play. That is why I led the Mingus here. Dude, Dragapult looks so good in battle. The textures on him and everything look insanely good. I love it. Such a cool pseudo legendary. Such a cool pseudo legendary. Let's see what he does. Gun trash slice. Show me it's the mouse hole. Show me it's the mouse hole attacking me. Show it to me. Give it to me. No, it's the rule edge. Don't like that one bit. Gun trash slice into fire. Okay. I just take out my uh my boy Amoongus. We'll see. And Mouse Hole goes for the following. That's fine. That's fine. So we Rage Powder here. He's going to take out my uh, Moongus. I can bring out... Uh, good set weather after this. It's going to be tough. Hmm. Let's see how this one plays. Dragon Heart's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Almost KO. And, oh, puts him on one. Puts him on one. And I'm surprised that both of them go, go that way. Do to follow me. So he goes for the Bitter Blade. That takes us out. He's going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, but that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage there. <laughs> so Dragon Pull obviously outspeeds. Um, I could use Sash here, or I could just straight up Protect, which I'm thinking of Protecting. I'm thinking of Protecting, dropping the Dragon Arts. Just going from there. I'm going to go into the Bomb of Snow. Could set up a Roar Bell. I could set up a Roar Bell for the rest of the Pokemon. Because he has no way of weather, right? Ooh, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking setting up. I'm liking using my focus dash for a roar bell right now. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna drop dragon arts. I'm setting up the roar bell all day long. 
All day long I'm doing it, and I'm saving uh, my Thrasilization, probably for my Sea Titan, right? Makes the most sense, especially if he has a uh, Pinkaton in the back. I don't know, this, one, this one's gonna be close, it's gonna be close battle. But hopefully he just goes after my Bomba Snow. Hopefully he doesn't overthink or anything, because I don't mind using the Focus Sash here. I really do not mind. We get rid of Mouse Hold this turn, which is gonna be big, he's gonna follow me again. The first Dragon Dart's gonna hit him, and then I think the other one slides over. But Bitter Blade's gonna bring this thing back up to uh, full HP. We already know that's happening. The Dragon Dart flies, and the other one should slide, right? Go right over to the Shrew Edge. It doesn't. Wow, that hurts soul. That's kind of lame. It goes for a Shadow Claw, so I guess he thought I was protecting. That's totally fine. When he takes out my Dragon Ball. I'm cool with that. We have Weather set up. We're gonna have a War Veil here. I could Terrasalize. And we'll roll out from, that, from there. And we still have Focus Dash, which I really, really like. So Aurora Veil, out and about, one of the best things ever. It's just so good. It's a legit a reflect and a light screen in one for five turns. Amazing. It is insanely strong. But it can only be set up in the snow. Take a touch and come out here, and that, that kind of hurts. So, um, can't protect. But I'm going to Terrasalize. That hurts. This Now it's going to be tough. Got to protect you. And got a Terras here? I have to Terrasalize into this thing. I have to I have to Terrasalize. So we're gonna rock type it up. We do have Slush Rush still. But we know he's faking us out. We know he's gonna fake us out. We're gonna Terras into the rock. We're gonna hope he's going after my Obama Snow, because I'm protecting that thing. But I can definitely see him double down on my C Titan, which could be really bad news for us. So Rule Edge protects. Ah! So Rule Edge with the Protect, Obama Snow with the Protect, Ob or go after Obama Snow, please take a ton. No shot at those, probably just Gigaton hammering me. Right, are you just gonna Gigaton hammer me? He is gonna Gigaton hammer me. We did change our typings, but it then don't matter. It still KOs, even through the Roar Bell. That is insane! That is insane, base 160 damage, stab, super effective, that thing is just doing crazy damage. And it's Orb! That stack is ridiculous. That stack is ridiculous. Damage is going to be double next turn, but I think we just keep our Bomba still alive. Yeah, we're just going to run this battle. We just got countered up by the other team. 2-1 for today's video. Not too shabby. 2-1 for today's video. Not too bad. Grabbed ourselves a winning record and got to showcase this team to its fullest potential. I absolutely love Sea Titan. One of my new favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. And he's decently strong on the rank ladder. I really do like him paired up with any Pokemon that can set snow because you can kind of just get after it with a Slush Rush and deal with some big damage all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.